Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. With a new video, a new exercise has come, and this is what we are going to do in this exercise. I want you to create two arrays. Uh, we can ask the, the users to input the, the values in the array. Let's say that we just want the arrays to be fixed uh, with size 3. And these two arrays, they have the same size, and I want you to generate a third array based on the multiplication between each one of the positions. So this index zero with index zero. So this is array one. This is array number two. And this is array number three. So the result of array number three is the, the first times the second. So five times three, two times seven, 30 times 10. Basically, this is the exercise I would like you to do. Remember, the user can input the values for each one of these uh, two arrays, and they should have exactly the same size. So let's get started. You know the drill. Try to do it yourself, and then just keep watching. Uh, exercise arrays 03. So again, there are several different ways to do this exercise. I will do it in the longest way possible, and later on I will uh, create a shorter version of it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create three arrays. Since we are going to give like a fixed size, we don't have to ask for the size, but we are going to ask for some data. So I'm just going to create the scanner here because we are going to use it later. Okay, so let's create three arrays. Uh, let's just use integers. So we have here number one, uh, well, let's say array one. So we have array one, new, integer uh, 3, then press Ctrl D, Ctrl D, as in Delta, 2, 3, and now let's go to the exercise. Basically, the exercise is going to get first uh, the first array values, the second array values, and then we have to multiply and generate a third array. Okay, so let's do that. First, let's create a 4, i, starting from 0, all the way up to array 1, dot length so basically we are going to start with array one so then south uh let's say here array one position and then plus i okay what do we do now array one position i will get the value that the user is going to input Okay, so it looks like we have the first array, and now we need the second array. Let's create here another for loop, for i, press enter, array 2.length, be careful. Technically, it would work if it's 1 or 2, because the size will be the same. But now, we're going to put it here, south, array 2, position, plus i. And then the same here, array, but position two. Oh, sorry, array two, position i equals scanner next int. Okay, and then we need the third array. So we are going to create another for i here. Now it will be for array number three, that length. And then what are we going to do? The position of the array number three three is each one of the positions will be the first positions of each array so first second it depends on the, the iteration so if you are not sure just add here the indexes so you know zero and you know this here will be one and you know that this here will be position number two and it's the same for each one of them and basically you have to get the position zero multiplied by position zero and store in the position zero so basically that's what you have to do so array three position i in this case zero will be array one position i times array two position i very good so what you can do is just print the the data so if you use print ln it's going to Kind of always jump one line. Just remove the ln, add it here array 
3 position i and then just add like a space so this is not going to jump one line so let's see the result Ctrl shift f10 array 1 position 0 so 1 2 3 now array 2 position 0 let's add 2 2 2 so the result 2 4 6 so technically this is solving the exercise but we can at least if we change the business logic a little we can change the way this code is structured so let's create another one let's copy this one ctrl c ctrl v and then exercise array 04 so technically right now we are adding all the array positions for number one and then only uh, we're going to start arrays uh, number two if we do something a little bit different for example instead of going one uh, zero one two zero one two we can go zero zero one one two two and then we can at least save one four so now we can do the following basically we copy this one right here control x right here now we remove this four and then we have the exercise we need a third array right so the third array we still can do it so this line we can put it here but we still have one four technically we cannot have this line here otherwise it would get lost for example let me just add this here and you are going to see what happens so when i execute this program out control shift f10 so if i put like two whoops i press the i add one extra character so two two as you can see array one array two position zero position zero but then we have this four here as you can see that array number three will get lost if we start printing the data now what can we do so just stop control f2 what can we do here well there is something that we can do it depends uh, if it's allowed or not but for example we can store all of this data from array three by concatenating the values in a string so for example string results array 03 and then i'm going to start this with nothing just empty and instead of doing this look what i'm going to do the results array will be itself plus who array and the position number three and then I'm going to add here a, just a blank space to separate the, each number. And instead of having these four, I'm going to just remove here and then have south results array number three. Now control alt L and then control shift F10. So two, 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 two. And we have here four, four, four. So this is one other way to solve exactly the same problem there are a few things that you have to be very careful since we are just learning is not a problem but once you get to java you'll see that using the plus inside a loop is a very very bad idea performance issues might uh, come up that is uh, another option that's using string builder or string buffer but we are going to see uh, there in the java one for all but this is an accept acceptable uh, result uh, even though we only have a little bit uh, well technically it looks better than having three arrays but uh, remember when you are concatenating strings it's a bad idea and i explain why in the java one for all course but basically um, if i have to give a short summary why this is a bad idea is because in java all the strings are immutable so when you do one and uh, as a string for example if you save a string a1 and then a2 and then a3 you are always uh, creating a new space in memory uh, for for that string so if you keep concatenating it would be a1 and then you would actually have a1 and then you would have a1 imagine that we are concatenating with a1 a2 and then you would have another space in memory that is a1 a2 a3 so all of this will keep in memory it's not like you are replacing the same space that's why you can blow up your what we call heap your memory in java if you keep concatenating a lot of strings 
but for a very small exercise, this is acceptable. Okay, so I think that's enough. Let's continue in the next video. Bye-bye.